Welcome, Crusaders, and thanks for joining me for Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. So we're still here at Artisan's Tower. We finished off the dragon here, and the storyteller is also here hanging around. He didn't have much to say, so we'll hope that he turns up again later. As we were about to leave, we noticed there was this entrance to the ruins here. So we're going to go ahead and check this out and see what is down here. Tower Summit. Okay, that's where we just came. All right. This is not much by the look of it, but we'll see what's down here, if anything. This lead out somewhere. After we uh, get done here, we, we, won't fall we here. will head back to... It. What's the... Oh, what are these things? Mandragora? Great. When we get done here, we're going to head back to Dresden, I believe. And we need to tell Irabeth about the dragon fight. The and then I think there's one or two other quests that maybe uh, we can take care of in Dresden. So we might do that. We'll see what, what happens here first. We were about to leave, and then we noticed this area down here. Not sure if this... Oh, if this has anything to do with anything, or, do not or what, forget. but maybe we'll find something cool. The storyteller really didn't have I much to say to us up there. I don't know if it'd be cool if he would head back to Dresden with us as well. We could maybe, uh, we've got some things to turn into him. Some uh, elven writings, that kind of thing. All right, Grey Boar, you get one hit in there. This thing is beefy, too. Jeez. Level 21. Okay. Is there another one, too? I feel like, yeah, there must be another one that's invisible. Wow. So. We still have pretty much all our buffs on from the dragon fight because there really wasn't much of a fight. The light take you. Ah! I was a little bit disappointed watching the video back from the dragon fight. I don't know if we had some kind of a damage over time on her because she she flew off. Storyteller said something, and we the battle ended. We were going to follow her up there, and then all of a sudden, she was dead. So, kind of missed what exactly happened there. Yourself. Anyway, we killed the dragon. Greyboar is happy, and we paid him to stick around a little bit. We'll see if there's any more to his story. It'd be nice if we could kill this one before another one shows up. I don't like how we're just crammed in this corner. Yeah, there's another one. Oh, there it is. Spell Eater Mandragora. Things hit hard. Let's get a smite on this one. I'd take this one out. There we go. And how about... Do we still have protection from evil on? I don't believe so. Maybe this thing have evil evil plant. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Help us a little bit. Just... Things hit so hard. Zeke, let's just get you and Saxon right in there, I guess. We always could do this. Attack. Spell Eater. Fast healing 10. I was going to regenerate, I suppose. Get the instant enemy on that thing, Arisula. And then I'd, she still have anything, like... Still got the hurricane bow and the tense vitals on. Let's just go at it. Desna, guide my hand. All right, more fire from Amber. Let's actually let's do the uh, evil eye. 
Let's see if we can whittle down its AC a little bit. For the next guy, it's immune to it. Okay. Spell Eater, I guess that would kind of make way. sense. Come on, Grey Boar. There we go. He just needed a little uh, encouragement. Oh, there's another one. Jeez. All right, well, let's deal with this one, and then uh, we'll play, be ready for the next. The light. Get some big hits in here. Better be like a nice treasure down here or something. Some reason for coming down here. Let's get a heal. All right, did we we already used the amulet. We could we could use the tankard, although <laughs> I'm leery about that because we've gotten hurt by using that. Uh, got some stone skin we could kind of just want to do it. Let's summon the paladins back here. There's another one coming in. Might need some support over there. These guys can't hit anything, but they, they can't be hit very easily either. Pretty good distraction. While we take care of business. I, I, everybody is so grouped up here. Not a very nice place to fight. I wonder if the burning arc jumped to an invisible enemy. Oh, Greyboar, we need to uh, study target. There you go. And when he connects, it does good damage. Unfortunately, there were a lot of whiffs going on there. Yeah, those things. The Spirit Paladins are tanky. Let's heal again. All right, Zeke, let's finish off this one. I think we have a, another one. Kind of uh, nice of them to come at us one at a time. I will resist. It'd be tough in a group. All right, Emmer, let's kill it with the scorching ray. Ah, great boar. Simply business. Whiff, 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 whiff. Come on, guys. I will bring down the divine wrath. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's I can't tell if he's regenerated a little bit. Oh, please! One of the paladins. I, I think we just need like one hit. Arushala. Ember. Uh, let's go. There we go. All right, there's still another one here somewhere. I'm gonna at least save it. Yeah. So, haven't been able to play much. Part of the problem with that is it makes it hard for me to remember what's going on the story. Uh, but we're just going to keep plugging away. Okay, we're paused. I know there's another one down here. We saw it walking around. What is this place? Just somebody's plant greenhouse? That is quite a discovery. So not, not a lot down here besides the plants. Could have sworn I saw another Mandragora walking around. Huh. 
I guess it's possible that this is part of another quest, or maybe it's just a little little side area, I guess. Godspeed. Alright, I guess if no one else wants to attack us, we will uh, proceed onward. Back upstairs. Okay, so we're going to go back up and head back to Dresden. Because uh, one of the things we want to do is talk to Irabeth about this dragon fight. So we'll go back and report into her and then uh, pick things up from there. Okay, we're back here at Dresden and we've got, we have three quests. I believe these are all like kind of finishing touches on these. We know we need to go to the Citadel. I want to make sure that we get a rest in if for some reason we're rocking into a battle. I, I don't foresee that happening, but let's, let's just start here. I'd like to just come in at the gates. I guess we could do prison. And then we're going to jump uh, to our bedroom and rest. We'll wake up there and then we can talk to Irabeth. And then we'll uh, take care of other things. And one of the quests is Irabeth's quest, I believe. So she, maybe she's ready to talk more about how she's dealing with all this. And then we need to tell her about the dragon fight. And my guess is back in our uh, throne room, for lack of a better term. I don't know what to call that. HQ. Wouldn't surprise me if somebody else wants to talk. All right, I didn't really want to be in the prison. Okay, we're rested up and we're back here. And of course we have a visitor, an older man in dusty traveling clothes waves at you. His face is tanned, but his gray eyes are bright. Commander, aren't you the commander? Well met, my name is Lathamus the Antiquarian. I study ancient relics. Perhaps you've heard of me, though if you haven't, it doesn't matter. An antiquarian, do you sell anything? Alas, I don't. They call me the antiquarian because of my love for ancient items that might otherwise seem mundane and useless. You understand the principles of archaeology. Sometimes, even a shard from an old oil lamp is enough to shine a light on the darkness of history. Well, I've never heard of you. I don't chase glory. It's enough for me to know that I bring knowledge to the peoples of Galarian. Some have used my discoveries to earn fame and fortune, but I remain a simple antiquarian. What do you want from me? I'm planning a rather dangerous expedition, and I will need the help of a strong, skilled warrior. Not without recompense, of course. I found an ancient map leading to a certain cave system, a dragon burial ground, but it wasn't merely a place where old dragons came to die. I have a theory that once upon a time, a great battle took place in these caves and many relics and artifacts were left behind. You're waging a long and difficult war. Help me uncover the secrets of the dragon burial ground and I will give you all of my savings. Believe me. I've earned a lot during my years of travel. All I need is for someone to clear the way down in the caves. Who knows what sort of demons inhabit that place now. Alright, I'd like to know the details. Of course, I will answer any questions you may have. Why do you want me to get personally involved? You could just ask me to send an armed escort with you on this expedition. Lathamus looks around. Don't think I'm trying to disparage them, but... They are ordinary soldiers, after all. What if we discover treasure down below? Will they resist the allure of gold for the sake of science? Will they keep our expedition a secret, even if my competitors promise them huge sums of money? No, I'm sorry, but I will only rely on someone who is trusted by the queen. Where did you get this map of the burial, dragon burial ground? I bartered it from a ranger in exchange for an amulet. The ranger wasn't keen on going deeper into the world wound. And I doubt he even understood how valuable this map might be for science. I dare say he made a poor bargain. Tell me more about your theory. I'm interested in dragon history from the days of Apsu and the creation of Dahak up to now. But dragons are reclusive creatures and they don't enjoy discussing their heritage with strangers. Sure, we know about many historical conflicts involving dragons. 
But as for large-scale battles between dragons, they prefer to keep quiet about those. And thus we historians remain in the dark. And then suddenly I find a map that identifies this cave system and its surrounding area as a dragon burial ground. But mass burial sites are so uncharacteristic of their kind. Dragons are reclusive by nature, both in life and in death. I assume an ancient battlefield awaits us there, but who fought whom and for what cause? This is what we have to find out. Can you imagine? We could discover a brand new, hitherto unknown page of history. Apsu, Dahak, who are they? Apsu is known as the god of metallic dragons. In the dawn of time, he was born from the purest waters, and together with his dreaded spouse, whose name I am afraid to say, he sired many creatures in a multitude of worlds. His kingdom lies far beyond this world, among flying islands and wandering stars. Dahak, his proud and fearless son, was one of the first dragon gods. He chose the path of destruction instead of creation. He settled in hell, founding his own kingdom of flames and agony. Dahak fought alongside his father and the other gods to defeat Rovagug. Yet after the battle, he swore that one day he would return and destroy Apsu once and for all. He still dwells in his hellish palace, finding new ways to wreak havoc on Galarian, such as his uncontrollable nature. What do you hope to find in this burial ground? I seek evidence that a raging battle was fought there and perhaps also evidence of the reasons for such a conflict. Dragons would not gather together for such a large battle over some petty inconsequential feud. Oh no, they must have had a serious reason, and that perhaps is the biggest mystery of all dragon kind. Wasn't Robogug what we fought in the deep underground below the uh, Tenebris Depths? Rough Beast, the great destroyer, the world breaker. Believed to be imprisoned in a state of torpor somewhere deep within Galarian, his increasingly restless stirrings are taken by many to be the cause of volcanic activity and earthquakes. His worshippers are known for embodying the gods' dominion over destruction, disaster, and wrath. Is this supposed to be kind of a callback to that DLC? Or is this something entirely different? I'm pretty sure it was Rovagug. We fought down there. A big, like, beast with tons of eyeballs. Hmm. All right, we'll help you. Splendid. Lathi Lathimus smiles, but the smile doesn't reach his observant gray eyes. I shall immediately head to the cave entrance and await you there. I think I can handle this part of the journey, but as for the dangers that wait down below, I fear I know nothing about them. Dragon burial ground has been revealed. Huh. Interesting. All right, and somebody else? Yakker. A familiar, clad, a familiar, familiar figure clad in black armor appears before you and ceremoniously offers a salute. Greetings, Knight Commander. Yakker Ankel from Paralictor Durenge's squad at your service. I'm afraid it's becoming a habit, but once again I bring dire news. Yakker shrugs apologetically. Thought I made it clear I want nothing to do with your commander. Is this one of uh, Regil's commanders? Or is this a different group of Hell Knights? Durenge. This is a different group, isn't it? Regil had his... Regil's a... Regil a paralictor to you? I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I thought I want to... I thought I made it clear I want nothing to do with your commander. Yakker sighs heavily. I'm a messenger, not a negotiator. I'm only authorized to bring you this report. However, the situation is worrisome, and it concerns demonic activity in the area. Will you hear me out? All right, I'm willing to hear you out. Yakker snaps to attention and repeats a message he's clearly taken pains to memorize. Reporting to whom it may concern, a group of Hell Knights has vanished under suspicious circumstances. They were last seen on the road to the occupied city of Iz. The Knights were escorting a group of cultists and carrying letters captured in a recent raid on an underground hideout. We're going to have to go help Hell Knights again. They disappeared after reporting their approach to our outpost, and the chapters quartered there failed to find any traces of the missing knights. The situation is highly abnormal. Such a large squad could have fallen in battle, but they could hardly have vanished into thin air without so much as a sign of struggle. Powerful demonic forces might be involved in their disappearance. 
Thus, we informed Dresden about the incident and plead for help in our investigation. Tell me about the hideout. Where were the cultists captured? It was a secret hideout consisting of a large warehouse and several workshops, which produced equipment for cultist cells all over Mendev. We'd been tracking the cultists for a while before finally locating and attacking them. Strangely, our intelligence reports had indicated that several powerful demons were always present inside the hideout, but our strike team only found mortals. We captured and escorted them to our outpost for questioning. What of this outpost where the knights were last seen? As I understand it, Paralictors, Renth, Ty, and Deothan informed you about the outpost during their visit to Dresden. While we finished its construction just a few days ago, it's already our largest staging ground in Eastern World Wound. World Wound. That's pretty hard to say, <laughs> I have to say. We have a small permanent garrison stationed there and we use it as a resting area for the Hell Knights involved in various expeditions. Fine, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Knight Commander. Paralictor Durenge can tell you more when you arrive at the outpost. That's all, with your leave. Great. Just what we need is more Hell Knight attention. Okay, we, we want to talk to Irabeth. Sure. I think we have some Crusade stuff to do as well, but let's go ahead and speak with her. Irabeth's eyes are vacant. Her thoughts are clearly somewhere far away. Seeing you, though, she snaps to attention. Hail, Commander. I took care of the dragon that was attacking our patrols. That's one less problem to contend with. Now we can take the extra lookouts off dragon duty and reassign them to more useful tasks. Excellent work, Commander. Okay. So I wonder, do we need to go visit uh, she and Anivia's? Do they have a apartment here or something? I thought it said a quest for her. What's oh, this? Oh, this is the burial ground. Okay. I am curious about that now. Uh, where's here? It still just says wait and watch. Okay. Because we had the yellow marker on the map, it made me think that maybe she was ready, but apparently not. So the other one here we have is the Vengeance of Sarkoris. I think the CR must be hanging out here. So we're going to check in with Kingdom or uh, Crusade Affairs, not Kingdom. Wrong game. Crusade Affairs and see if there's anything here to deal with. And then we'll go look for Chiar. Try to uh, finish things up with them. The fate of the voracious jumble. Oh, we get to... Yeah, I thought we'd, we'd done this, but we need to pick our reward, I guess. The Club of Hunger. Or the Flail of Hunger. Well. Probably neither one is going to get any use. Let's take the flail. Okay. And then first blood. One of the officers has been bringing recruits to the prison so that they could fight weakened captives and kill them. He wanted to prepare the newcomers for their first battle, but unfortunately, during one of the training sessions, one of the soldiers got killed and everything came to light. Okay. Uh, I don't think we're going to approve of this method. Forbid touching prisoners. Get some leadership points. Uh, we don't have Wenduag with us, so we don't get to see what that is. All right. Yeah, no touching the prisoners, folks. Okay, then we've got some decrees we need to issue. The help of noble houses. 
Mendev's strength lies in its mighty noble houses, pillars of Queen Galfrey's power. As long as the crusade has such friends as them, it will not feel the need for gold or soldiers. We can get some more marksmen. Oh, this was from uh, some other another choice we had earlier, I believe, which gave us this decree. Yeah, we could. We've got some marksmen in our our main army, so some more would be nice. All right, so we could do this one if we wanted to. Swords of Gorum. All trainable and mercenary infantry, cavalry, and grand tier units gain the Swords of Gorum feat. Plus two bonus to attack, 10% bonus to damage, and a minus two penalty to AC and initiative. Hmm. Do we want that? I guess. It's a, it's a f not insignificant penalty to AC, but pretty good bonus too. All right, fine. All right, that seems to be it here then. I think as far as campaign goes, oh, we actually can get recruits. So let's do that. Let's max out these. Rangers, uh, I don't really care about the scouts, but I guess they're here. We might as well take them. And then we've got conscripts, shield bearers, slingers down here. Ugh. Uh, do we have, I thought we had, I don't know where our armies are sitting. Um, I can't remember if we have shield bearers in one of our other armies. We could add some to them. Do we have another spot here because of... We, we can't recruit them because we don't have space here. I thought... Hmm. We took something that gave us an additional slot. Oh, for all generals. I think that's what it was. Since we don't have a general here, probably we don't get an extra slot there. We've got this army over here. Yeah, we've got an empty slot in this army now. That's cool. So we do need to add something else here. And then where's this one? All right, so let's kind of combine. Let's get, let's grab this group. Bring them over here to meet up. Okay, yeah, I forgot we had recruited a second general so that we kind of have a, a secondary army that we can kind of keep near Dresden in, in case uh, or I guess anywhere else where we want to have an, a standing army. Okay, then we need to send these to our main group. Yeah, so we could actually use some more units here. So maybe we send them. Well, we could recruit more at Dresden now, couldn't we? So let's grab shield bearers. We could take some slingers for arranged. Actually, well, let's not mess with the conscripts. Let's bring these guys now over here. All right, there. So now we've got we've got some mounted scouts. We've got convicts. Let's put them out front. Slingers and shield bearers. Okay, so Chief Agaboya in this group. 
can kind of uh, hang out near Dresden here for now at least. And then we've got, well, we still have, okay, we need to bring, yeah, we need to bring our main army back over here. And drop all these guys in here. We do, we still have an empty slot here. So I guess, who do we want? Maybe, I, I really wished, I wish these sorcerers would have been a ranged unit. We could throw these scouts in there, I guess. From uh, here. Okay. So what does our strength say now for this army? I'm curious. Can we see that in here? Seven is all? I thought, it, I thought we'd been higher than that at one point. Maybe not. I thought, I thought we were like... Maybe I'm just thinking of the general's level. Okay. Well, I don't. I think that's it for in here. So now let's go see if we can find this char. Unless there's something new here in the HQ. Okay, we're gonna go to the streets. See what we see. So I wonder. Oh, there's Jar right there. Okay. Let's head there. Uh, down here, I guess. Our time has come. Okay. The old crusader looks anxious and disoriented. Um, yes, has something happened? Hand over Morveg's talisman. Morveg is dead. The color drains from Shiar's face. He takes the straw figure with his shaking fingers. His mouth twists unpleasantly as if the old man is about to start sobbing. The knight looks at you with horror. The old warrior drops to his knees, slowly and awkwardly, with apparent difficulty. My boy, but how? What happened? Uh, well, it's been a while. It's been a while since uh, we we uh, encountered Morveg. It's not your fault. Morveg's soul was consumed by vengeance. He went out. He went to get the cursed sword of Gorum and got himself killed. Poor boy. I was afraid of this. The war tainted his soul with darkness the moment he was born. It doomed him to death before he could even walk. I warned him, but what are an old man's warnings worth? The sword, that damned weapon of Gorum, where is it? Do you have it? It must be destroyed. The war devours our souls, and Gorum, its lord, watches over it all with indifference. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, this, we've had, I think we have a, uh, like a decree to study this thing or something. Uh, but I kind of already didn't really want to uh, mess with it. It seemed uh, to have some not so good qualities about it. Maybe we just give it to him, let him deal with it. Yeah, here you go. Take it and destroy it. You've done the right thing, the honorable thing. No one will ever fall victim to it again. No one will suffer poor Morveg's fate. Damn this war. Okay, so we've lost that. I know how difficult it can be to keep yourself in check when war is raging around you, when your comrades are dying. Your deed will not go unnoticed. The ever bright crusaders will tell of your wisdom. They will tell all Mendev that you did not allow war to enslave your mind. Appreciate it. Okay. Well, that wraps up a couple of things there. 
still, I want to go to this heart of mystery. Um, we've got these hell knights that need help. Companion quest. So is this part of Regil's quest? Is there like another chance to recruit him now? Since we passed on him earlier. Uh, crusade quest. Middle game. Maximize all crusade stats. Okay. That's ongoing. Did the storyteller come back here? He did. Let's go talk to him. He's right outside the... Uh, Citadel gate. Go up here. Let's go see if he has anything to say now. I think we have one or two things to, to give to him as well. He was still too rattled there at the uh, place of the dragon fight to say much. I'm glad he's showed up back here. All right, storyteller. The blind elf whispers something under his breath. Hearing your steps, he turns to you slowly. Greetings, Zeke. Have you brought me a new story? I want to discuss our encounter in the dragon's lair. I'm sure you do. You're wondering how I ended up there and why I wasn't killed, am I right? Why did you go to the tower? I've been looking for a certain tower for several years now, and in that place I had a strange feeling of recognition. It seems that tower once belonged to me a long time ago. Knowing my habits, I assumed that some records or other items that could answer the questions about my past may have remained in my home. Unfortunately, I realized too late that the tower was now the lair of a monster. How come the dragon didn't eat you? Despite their beastly tempers, dragons are clever creatures, but their way of life does not lend itself to civilized conversation which is why they do sometimes enjoy a good chat, and even more, a good story. That was what saved me. I had to share a few of my stories with the dragon, hoping to win her over, or at least distract her. Did you find any anything of value in the tower? The storyteller nods politely. Yes, thanks to you, the dragon didn't have time to burn everything. I found the memories of my previous life, which I had forgotten long ago. Now everything is clear. Once again, please accept my gratitude for the miraculous rescue. I hope I never again have cause to meet a creature as voracious as that dragon. I found it in the molten scar, hand over the bloodstained page. The storyteller cringes and puts his hand on the bloodstained page. His face contorts into a painful grimace, his voice trembling with terror. No! He is here again, that terrible grating voice, the horrific semblance of a face, the monstrous appearance, myriad insects forming a body with two arms and two legs. He touches me and the disgusting creature attack my flesh, covering me. They are eating me. They are hungry and will devour everything except my eyes and tongue so that I can see this damn page, so that I can translate the runes written in the ancient long forgotten elven language. And I translate. It hurts so much. I tried to lie. I tried to lie to him. I changed the translation, but he saw through my lie. He got angry. Now I'm not lying. I'm not. He takes one of the insects from my face and squishes it with his fingers over the inkwell. Then he dips the quill in it and writes with my blood right over the runes. And I continue to dictate. Calistria, when will this be over? Let me die. Xanthir, let me die. The storyteller jerks back his hand, terrified. Oh gods, such horrible torture. This poor man was tortured to decrypt my notes. He was so tormented that his suffering became thick like molasses. My mind is drowning in it. My own memories are hidden by these images of horror. I can try to get through to them, but I will need your help. Tell me everything you've seen and heard. I will try to lean on your words, to use them as a light in the darkness of my forgotten past. The storyteller takes the bloodstained page carefully, as though handling a dangerous insect. I see a magic shape. There is a force pulsating in the center. You have seen the ritual. Tell me, what was its central point? Its magic knot. 
Boy, I'm racking my brain. I can't remember what this is referring to. A dead man. They killed a crusader and conducted the ritual over his corpse. Was this something we saw or were we just like inferring this from what he just told us? I don't know. The storyteller frowns. A dead man? I don't understand. I feel something else. A life, a living soul in the eye of the whirlwind. I don't understand how one ritual can tie up the energies of death and the abyss. Their currents in the world's ephemera are contradirectional. The storyteller sighs weakly. Forgive me, Commander. I cannot get any further. Everything is vague and unclear, and the screams of the poor lad keep ringing in my ears. I found a page that might interest you. The storyteller takes your find. Yes, you are right. Another piece of evidence from the past I have forgotten. The old elf's expression becomes withdrawn. Thank you. If you find more pages like this, please bring them to me. Maybe by putting them together, I will be able to lift the veil and the mystery surrounding my story. I think we have more. Okay. More. <laughs> okay. I guess we can't give them all at once. The storyteller clenches the pages you brought. His voice becomes a bit younger and more energetic. My hand touches the stone wall. The cold pierces my palm like the teeth of a hungry dog sinking into a piece of meat. I don't take my hand away. I let the stone enjoy my warmth in return for its service. It accepts my caress and my unmasked question, the one it's been asked thousands upon thousands of times. Where should I go next? Behind me, I hear the loud stomping of the minotaurs that guard this god's forsaken place. I tricked and outwitted them, leaving only a trace of my presence. There is darkness lurking up ahead, honing its words, claws and teeth in the hope that a rare traveler visits its lair. But today, we'll get no one. This labyrinth is alive. Its red-veined stone walls resemble the guts of a huge creature. If you keep still and listen closely, you can hear it breathing in the wind that sweeps through this place. Where do I go from here? Forward. To the place where the wind carried a faint chuckle. Whence comes this faint smell of ash? Whence a few ages ago, Demon Lord Baphomet began his great escape. Baphomet, are you inside his labyrinth? Yes, I'm traveling through the ivory labyrinth. This is not the most pleasant of my journeys, but it is necessary to reach my goal. How were you able to evade all the dangers of the ivory labyrinth? The storyteller raises his chin proudly. Have you forgotten who you are speaking to? I am the last Archmage of Kyanin. I have been to many dangerous places, and this is just one of the many. It won't be the last. What do you need from the Ivory Labyrinth? An answer to a question, a key to a secret, knowledge that can save many lives. A sliver of a smile appears on the storyteller's lips. My kinfolk were weaklings and cowards. They ran from danger. But one stood up to my enemy, and Baphomet will give me the weapon to win. Please continue. For several years, I have thought about how to defeat Earthfall. My enemy has no flesh and is impossible to kill. It blazes through everything in its path. It doesn't enslave, but destroys life itself. And I have found the answer. I know how to save my world. Earthfall came to destroy Galarian. Its strike was brutal, and my world barely withstood it. But what if Earthfall was resisted by not one world, but several worlds at once? What if Heaven or Elysium come to help the dying Galarian? If I manage to merge my world with another one, meld them together, the power of the disaster will weaken. The denizens of Galarian will be able to temporarily take shelter in the adjacent plane. Civilizations will not die. Our culture will continue to exist. We will not be forgotten. Baphomet, the cunning and insidious Lord of Minotaurs, was once a captive in Asmodeus' prison. But only ten years passed before Baphomet was able to escape taking his own prison with him, which later became the Ivory Labyrinth. Such an achievement deserves respect, and it, it is the goal of my research. Moving matter between planes is what interests me now. I stop near strange symbols covering the wall of the labyrinth. I run my hand over them to ensure they are real, encrypted riddles drawn by Baphomet during his imprisonment. I take out the bark-covered notebook of painstakingly copy and painstakingly copy the symbols into it. Behind me, 
two minotaurs are fighting. Deceived by the net of spells I have wrapped around myself like a blanket. Do you want to connect the planes? That's dangerous. The elf is silent for a moment. When he talks, there is disdain in his voice. Dangerous. Difficult. Almost impossible. But tell me, is this risk not worth the Thessal Thessalon Empire perishing before my eyes? Does Golgon, the Cyclops' kingdom, deserve death? What about the Aboleth Empire? The storyteller moves his lips silently. Another plane will pay for saving Golarion. There will be wars, and then a new world will come, but we will survive. We will defeat Earthfall, and history will not condemn the victors. A bark-covered notebook, the one your mentor gave you? The storyteller lowers his head, but a moment later jerks it back up. Yes, blinded by pride, I tore it to pieces when I thought I would not follow my kinfolk. I am still not going to run, but the knowledge written in this notebook by my former mentor might serve my purpose. The elves managed to open a portal to so Sovirion and keep it open until all our people escaped from Galarian. Their cowardice deserves disdain, but their knowledge is unquestionable. I returned to Kyanan and gathered the pieces of my torn notebook. Now it is my sword aimed at the heart of Earthfall. By combining the wisdom of elves and the cunning of Baphomet, I will save the world. What happened next? I copied the strange symbols into the notebook. I haven't the slightest idea what these scribbles mean. What was the future demon lord thinking when he wrote them, while he was imprisoned in a cell with no way out? Was he still in his right mind? I will need help to understand these notes, otherwise decrypting them might take more time than Phrasma has given me. One of the minotaurs behind me killed the other one, tore his heart out, and devoured it. His blood-stained nose sniffs the air sharply. His bloodshot eyes shift from wall to wall. He senses a stranger, but he doesn't scare me. I am certain of my powers and the spells hiding me. I've done my work and can now leave this place, and still I linger. What is this strange presence I feel behind me? Like someone is watching me, despite all the protective spells. Who are you? I ask carefully, not hoping for an answer. Darkness, a coy female voice whispers in my ear. Against my will, I shudder. The storyteller stops, talking for a long while. The vision ended at the most interesting moment, didn't it? He says bitterly at last. Please, find the rest of the pages from this bark-covered book. I must know what happened next. Tell me about your journey to the Ivory Labyrinth. My hand touches the stone wall. Oh, this is what he just told us. Okay. I should go through all this again. Okay. Uh... Okay, so that's it for now. We need to find more of those books for him, and then he will have more to tell us, I'm sure. Okay. Well, good. It's nice to have him back around and we took care of a few things with him so we're kind of caught up uh what i'm kind of uh leaning towards doing next i'm where is it back to the roots i want to go with lawn back to neatholm uh since that's where a lot of this started uh it'd be fun to go back there and visit with chief soul and see what's what's happening down there now so i think that'll be next as we push on uh, in this crusade, I really appreciate you being here with me. Uh, I know this is uh, kind of slow going, but we're going to keep making our way through it. Um, great to have you here with me, and I hope I'll see you again back here with me next time. Bye-bye.